tradition of success continues for the Westbrook Music Department. The Westbrook High School Marching Band is one of the top units in the country. Yeah, they took third place out of 11 at their uh, divisions at the U.S. Band's National Championship Sunday in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Joining us this morning to talk about their big weekend and season is music director Kyle Smith and also drum major Jazzy Alcid. Uh, you guys both, obviously you guys wanted to take first place, that's the goal, but to be one of the top three in your division in the country, I mean, you got to pinch yourselves and go, wow, we did that? Yeah, it was pretty awesome. So tell us how special the whole you know experience was. You even said that you watched Drumline on the way down. It's so cool. Yeah, it's just great to get a chance to get out of town and see other groups from every sort of walk of life. What was really special, I don't want to speak for Jazzy, but about the show was the way we designed it after our former, our former drill instructor who passed away a year ago, actually Saturday, pretty tragically. So we designed a show called Legacy which is honoring him and his career as a 45-year-old, 45-year band director. Um, so we designed the whole show around um, his history as a band director, and uh, we really try to relate it to the students as to what are you gonna do in your life to be able to create a great legacy for yourself. Yeah, let's talk about when you were up, of course, in front of the band directing them through this uh, championship. And did you feel it uh, that, that, man, this is the, the show, this is gonna get us one of the top, uh, the top uh, f first, second, or third? It's definitely like, I just wanted to get them through it and like you don't really feel it when you're up there because you're not facing the audience but you know that the show is pretty special. And it sounds like you got a couple of caption awards too. Can you talk about what those were and how important those are too? Sure, we won best music and best percussion and we were we were rated on five captions and those were two of them. So um, to out of all of the bands that were there to have the high mark in both of those was pretty special. That's funny my son plays high school baseball and even back in uh, May and June I could hear the drum line practicing <laughs> from way across from again where I'm located near the football stadium baseball field all the way to, to the mm -hmm. main part of the campus so I mean that, so you know you guys had a great percussion. Yeah they're always hard working I love them love to see them work. And they're the heartbeat of the band so Jazzy rehearses with them all the time. Yeah. What kind of preparation goes into you know participating in something like this? So we have to sign up for it, but really it started a year ago where we started designing custom this show for our students um, and designing it all the way around, having the music arranged for us, having the, all the parts written and the choreography free written and all that, and then they started learning it. You know, springtime, they got the music and, and they just put in so many hours of hard work throughout the band camp in August, all the way through the two, two uh, rehearsals a week in the, in the fall. And um, they just work so hard. We demand a lot of them. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we demand a lot of hard work, but that's going to translate into their lives as well. Yeah. Uh, let's talk, both of you guys can talk about this. Uh, when you came back on Monday, let's talk about the, the, the welcome that you received. And was this a surprise for the kids? You guys were going to get the police escort and everything? Well, we usually we get a police escort coming back from somewhere far away, but the like big crowd that we had was definitely a surprise. Was everyone cheering? What was it like? Describe sort of what it was like. like. When we got off the bus, we immediately see people screaming for us, and they're all just getting so excited. It was such like a heartwarming feeling. Yeah, that's awesome. And so what was the reaction for you to see that, you know, just warm welcome home? Well, I had to kind of help organize that, so I, <laughs> it wasn't a surprise for me. But so often we ask the kids to give and give and give and give and give to, for the group to the, then let them just be showered with some of that love from the people who love them was just fantastic. Now, uh, for the folks that couldn't come to your show on Sunday in Allentown, Pennsylvania, or be there for the big celebration on Monday, talk about what's going on on Saturday. Saturday, we're doing a parade. It's going to be very short in downtown Westbrook at noon, starting uh, down near Portland Pie and ending up near the library. We're not performing in this parade. It's the first parade I've ever been a part of that we're not <laughs> performing. We're just going to be in uniform and kind of throwing out candy to kids and saying hi to people and taking pictures, and there's going to be some music going. It's going to be fun. That's awesome. And Jazzy, what's your just overall favorite part of being involved in this? Um, I think my favorite part is definitely getting to really interact with like all the kids that I get to and see them smiling and see how hard they'll work. Yeah, I can't believe the how much hard work goes into this. Yeah, listen, you know, I did sports and music, and I got to say, I did marching band too, and I, I, it seems like it was harder to do marching band than it was the sports I was in. Uh, all the practice that starts, and it's really year-round for you guys. It is, yeah. We have a winter percussion and winter guard program, and, and even in addition to that, the reason these programs are successful is because we have a scheduled band throughout the day from fifth grade up through twelfth grade. So these students are learning how to play their instrument, how to do all the things they need to do so that when they get on the field to march, then they'll, they'll be successful. So are you already thinking about next year? 100%. <laughs> what can we expect? Any sneak peek or any plans in the works? 
we haven't made that decision yet, but we have some, some ideas. Yeah, what makes, I mean, West Park High School has been known for its uh, marching band uh, yeah. program for a long time. I mean, ever since I've been here, and that's in the 90s. Uh, what makes it so special when it comes to, to your program uh, in the school department? So I'll speak as a teacher. One of the most important things is that there is a director of music that is an administrator because a long time ago in the 60s there was a superintendent who said uh, it's important that because some principals um, that, that they can lean on an administrator who is a musician who understands what goes on. So we have that advocate, that advocate in Suzanne Prue who is our director of music. She's just fantastic and she allows us to kind of organize and stay focused on the mission with the kids. And maybe some question for you Jazzy. Um, for me, it's definitely like being able to connect with like older students that have already been through the program, and that's what really keeps kids going is because they have an older friendship. So if they're coming from middle school into high school, they already have that connection. So school's not as scary because they have that older kid, and marching band is also less scary because they have another kid to lean on. Yeah, that's it's great. like a family too, all yeah. you guys together. Yeah. It totally is. All right, so tell us again the timing and location for Saturday's big bash. It's at noon, downtown in front of Portland Pie. We'll be going up the street to the library. Awesome. All right, sounds good. Hey, congratulations. Yeah, congrats. You guys. Thanks so much. So, so much. exciting.